Här är er NRK Dagsnytt klockan 14. night I was going to be out on my own um, doing these radio testings. I'd be on one side of on one antenna and this other guy would be on the other antenna. And uh, I also happened to have Sherry and the baby out with me at a, at a site for the first time. Which probably wasn't a good idea to do both those things at the same time, but oh well. And um, so Oh man, it just it was one problem after the next out there. It was like first we get out there and she's uh she's worried about the radiation from the tower. So she doesn't wanna she doesn't want to uh, spend the night right there underneath the tower. And uh <coughs> so she said the it's like a, this, this, this site is so remote, it's like five miles down a dirt road after about 15 miles down a, kind of a down by the road and this the site's up on the hill it's about 200 yards away or so maybe 300 yards and uh, first thing that she does is she uh, locks her keys in the car I was gonna try to get a nap oh yeah but I was gonna try to take a nap because uh, I have to do this work in the middle of the night it has to happen from 12 to 5 and 5 30 a.m. or something because uh, it's when the least people are, you know, like right in that in that in that little radio shack, I have the ability to turn the 
turn the TV stations off, and that's kind of what we were doing. We were cutting off channels and trying to cut them into our radios and see if they'll receive it on the other end of the of the hop. Well, a hop. And um, so I'm trying to get all that figured out. It's my first night doing that. Very last season with cars, so we're, I didn't even, I didn't get to take a nap because we were getting we we're breaking into our own vehicle. And then um, it's starting to rain a little bit. And uh, James gets out to the site because he's got to do a couple things there before he goes over to the other site. Uh, so he's on the other end of the hop. He's kind of quizzing me and making sure he's kind of nervous because he knows it's my first night. So he's kind of nervous. He's kind of making sure I, I know what the hell I'm doing. And uh, so then he takes off, goes to the other hop. We were wondering if we'd even have phone service on both sides of it because we're so remote. And. Uh, Next. Oh yeah, so I'm working away. It's probably like shortly into midnight or something. We just got started. Cherry comes into the site and she says that the baby has a, a high fever. She's really freaking out about it. Like she thinks she's got a really bad fever. She's feeling my forehead, her forehead, going back and forth, freaking out and so on. Well, I, you know, I'm trying to deal with this day of work right now, and I couldn't quite cope with it, because I didn't, you know, if she's got a fever, just let her sleep, you know? and she thinks that it might be a really bad fever, so she's, she's determined to go and get some, some aspirin, or some Tylenol, rather, so she's going to go and drive off, and go to the Walmart, and I think she's crazy, but, because we're so, we're so far out there, you know, we're, like, literally five miles or six miles down this dirt road and it's dark now so to find the turn off for this this tower is going to be difficult in the dark but she's going dang it you know and she, she takes off and I thought she had the baby with her and so when she took off in the RAV I decided okay I'm going to go down the hill and grab my van because I don't know if I like it being down there with nobody in it I don't know who you know, could be around even though it's remote there is cars kind of going by every once in a while. Anyway, so I get down there and the baby's in the car. And I, was, and I got thrown for a loop because I thought that she had taken the baby with her. So I gave her a call, kind of a nasty call telling her that she had to get, get back there because I can't watch the baby and work at the same time. It's just not possible. She said that she's almost to the Walmart, so she's, you know, she'll be back as soon as possible, and she's driving real fast, I can't imagine. And, um, so she, and I'm hoping that she'll even find her way back. I'm getting kind of bummed at her, because I'm thinking she might get lost. <laughs> but she said that she counted all the, the guard, cattle guard crossings, which I thought was a really smart move. Uh, she gets back. She, you know, the baby doesn't want to take any of her Tylenol. She's spitting it out all over the place. And uh, so she's wondering what to do, and I'm trying to work. And, uh, so you know, I tell them that I, what I think should happen is that I'll take her temperature in the morning and see if her fever breaks. We'll probably just have the two of them just go back to the house in Maine here because it's only like three hours away of driving in the morning and then she can go, you know, be at the home and everything will be much more, uh, you know, she'll be able to get better there, easier. <laughs> so they're sleeping in there and, I, and James and I are trying to do this hot testing and it ain't going anywhere and there's a lot of problems and none of them are, it's just, nothing's working and we're trying to troubleshoot all night. Fortunately, I had I did have my shit together, and I had all the numbers that he needed when he needed them, and all that good stuff. So, at the end of the night, it was really just like more frustration. That, you know, we didn't get any any testing really done. We did some troubleshooting, but we didn't really get any good solid answers out of it. <laughs> and um, meanwhile, those two are, are sleeping in the. In the van, and I figure, well, they're probably going to want to go, you know, 
home in the morning. So I'm just going to crash out in the RAV for a couple hours. And when those two wake up, they can uh, take off and I'll go sleep in my truck. Well, it starts raining like a motherfucker when I'm sleeping in the RAV. And it's, it's on and off. I guess it's Hurricane Paul. This is October was it, 25th, 2006. Um, so I think we're feeling that after effect. I don't know. It was a lot of rain. And um, when Sherry gets up, she's we're back up at the top of the hill. Because I had moved my truck back up. And when she got back from Walmart, she brought her rab up. And they just fallen asleep up on the top of the hill by the radiation, you know, uh, antenna and all that. So she, when, when she wakes up, she wants to move back down to the bottom of the hill. I am completely crumpled up from r sleeping in the RAV, and I just want to like pass out because I, I really didn't get any sleep for those uh, two, three hours I was in there. And uh, so I, I just get up and pass out in the, in the van. I'm just useless. And she's determined, of course, to, to get to the bottom of the hill, so she moves the RAV down there, and then she comes back up in the rain, walking in, up in the in the rain, I'll probably mad at it. <laughs> um, since she moves the van down to the bottom of the hill, which would have been all right, except that I still had a lot of equipment still in the shelter because <laughs> I never really packed it up. I just kind of passed out and grabbed at that point at the end of the night there, and I just move it in the morning. I didn't realize it was going to be raining that much, and. Uh, so we're at the bottom of the hill, and I'm trying to sleep, and the baby's awake now, and Sherry's trying to keep the baby quiet, and they're watching some Disney cartoons, you know, on the DVD, and it's really quiet, but, you know, you, I mean, it's fucking in the back of a van, you know, how quiet can you be? You're still going to hear it, so I, I really wasn't getting any sleep, and Sherry brings up the notion that, well, you know, we're, we're sitting here, and we might be getting stuck, and, stay out here on this, you know, side of the road, you know, we're going to get stuck in the mud. And, uh, I was so useless that I didn't even react to that for about 20 minutes. And then I think I, uh, got up, because I couldn't really sleep anyway, looked out the window a little bit, and I think I probably went back to sleep for a little while after that even, maybe another, like, I got up and thought that maybe she was right. She had to go take a leak outside in the rain, which she wasn't looking forward to. So she, she, when she finally got ready to go outside and do that, um, I decided I was going to back my van up and get uh, next to the raft so she could take a horse down. And they were fixing to go back to the house in Maine after all that. Because um, the baby did still have a fever. It was lower, but it wasn't, it wasn't all the way low still probably a hundred. And, uh, so naturally I get totally stuck in the mud and my tires, I got this new van and everything, but the tires are probably from 98, you know, they're probably still the original tires on this motherfucker. They're pretty bald. So, uh, I'm spinning my wheels in the mud, you know? And so that was, that was a good just like Murphy's Law moment or whatever, and then, so some some guys driving by and I wave them down, you know, that's what, what eventually happened, you know, I, I waved him down, you could see we were stuck, he had a truck, and we figured a way to attach a piece of rope that I had to, uh, to his bumper, and he, he helped pull me out. <laughs> um, so after all that, <laughs> we got out, Jay was going to go home, and I was going to go to the rest stop here where I'm at now. But uh, we decided we'd actually go to Pizza Hut. We got some Pizza Hut, and I ate a little bit of food. <laughs> so out of it in that Pizza Hut. And um, now that they've, they've left, they've gone back to the house. Uh, the baby's doing better. She still has a little temperature, but we talked to him on the phone. And uh, I'm just sitting here at this lovely little rest area and I'm fixing to make myself a uh, 
really swell meal. On the grill. Uh, one thing Sherry left behind was uh, some sauce, and I have some chicken, and a little leftover rice, so it's on. Here it goes. Alright, hold on a minute. Well, yes, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and work on a little bit of music tonight. I'm gonna keep working on that stuff I did with Jimbo. And, uh, I guess I can't imagine that the last uh, few nights have impressed my wife a whole lot. And she's gonna want to go on the road a whole lot. But, um, interesting night. And, uh, until next time, this is Max Brody.